In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate chip cookies without brown sugar. Now, brown sugar is what makes cookies chewy, so without them, you will get a slightly cakier cookie. But this recipe is designed so that the cookies don't spread too much and have a more chewy texture than a cakey texture. They also taste delicious, so if you're craving some cookies and don't have any brown sugar, you should definitely give this a try. The first thing that you're going to do is in a large bowl, combine softened unsalted butter and granulated sugar. It's very important that your butter is soft or else it will be difficult to cream with the sugar. We're going to give this a mix using a spatula. You can even use an electric mixer until everything is nice and creamy and combined. The written recipe is available on my website, thefoodflamingo.com. You can find the link in the description box below. Once you have a smooth mixture like this, we're going to add in one large egg, make sure it's room temperature, and some vanilla extract. Give this a mix until everything is fully incorporated. I just want to add here that if you do have brown sugar, then you should definitely use those to make chocolate chip cookies because you cannot achieve that classic texture of a chocolate chip cookie without it. The mixture might look a little bit curdled like this, but that's totally normal. When we add in the dry ingredients, everything is going to come together. For the dry ingredients, you're going to add in some all-purpose flour, some baking soda, and some salt. Fold all the ingredients together until everything is almost incorporated. I say almost because we're going to add in the chocolate chips and we don't want to overmix the cookie dough. Now we're going to add in the chocolate chips and then continue to mix until everything is fully incorporated. And yes, make sure to save some chocolate chips for the top. Clean the sides of your bowl and then we're going to go ahead and cover this with some plastic wrap and then refrigerate for at least 30 minutes or even up to overnight. You can check out the blog for the instructions of making this ahead of time. Once the dough is nice and chilled, we're going to go ahead and use a medium sized cookie scoop or you can even use a spoon and scoop the cookie dough onto two lined baking trays leaving at least 2 inches of space between each cookie. You can also freeze this for 10 to 15 minutes if you're short on time, but just make sure not to skip the chilling, otherwise your cookies will be too flat, especially because they don't have brown sugar in them. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 to 12 minutes, and once baked, let them cool down on the tray for at least 10 minutes before moving them onto a cooling rack to cool completely. And that's it, your chocolate chip cookies are ready to go. They are a bit fluffier than a regular chocolate chip cookie, but still have a quite a good amount of chewiness to them, and also they taste very similar to chocolate chip cookies. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to The Food Flamingo for more easy and delicious recipes just like this one. Like the video if you liked it and comment down below if you tried the recipe or if there's anything else you'd like me to make. And as always, thank you so much for watching.